Hey guys, it's Arcade and today I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make Future House Base in Serum. And let's get right into it. First we are going to make a sub base for the actual base. So let's first start with that. Open new Serum, initialize the preset. So we are on the same page. Change the oscill oscillator 1 to analog, analog sine wave which gives us this sound and I have a little melody here prepared already and yeah, uh, let's continue with the bass so change it to sine wave change the envelope 1 which controls the volume just like move this point all the way down and change the decay to around 700 that's okay so there is more of a click sound. Change the octave one octave down, minus one. Now it's a really low sub bass, so go to effects, enable distortion, put it all the way up. And enable EQ. Make sure it's under the distortion and uh, click on this one which is low pass filter and move the Q so we don't have this peak right here so just move the Q down and move the frequency so only the low frequencies can be heard in the sound And yeah, that's the sub bass. I think uh, it's a really simple one, but uh, really effective as well. Maybe change the drive a little bit less. And now let's get to the actual bass. So again, open new serum, initialize the preset. And we are going to be using uh, the same wave, sine wave, for oscillator 1. For oscillator B, we are going to go to digital for the waveform, go to digital and choose evolution. Yeah, that's the one. And just move the wavetable position. We're gonna change that later, but move it around here. And also change the envelope one. Just move this point down and change the decay to be around 700 as well. Now enable the filter and make sure it's affecting oscillator A and B and move the envelope to the cutoff. And now you can see it goes both ways, which is not what we want. So just go to matrix and you can see here envelope one, filter cutoff, type and change the type, just click on these arrows and now it's only the arrow to the right. Go back to oscillator, now you can see is only going one way and that's what we wanted. So make sure the cutoff is all the way down and the envelope is all the way up. So we are getting some sort of plucky bass sound right now. Uh, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add FM. So just click here, FM from B and change oscillator B seven semitones up that means it's gonna play a higher note than the oscillator A but seven semitones is harmonics so it's gonna sound okay so it's gonna be in key or else it would just sound kind of weird so yeah seven works really good and now change the FM the value of it We can also put the envelope on the FM and just move it around, just adjust it until it sounds good. It's kind of hard to tell right now, so we're gonna adjust it later. And also put the envelope on the wavetable position of oscillator B 
and adjust that. Sounds about right. Now go to effects, enable hyper and dimension, disable the hyper and put mix of the dimension at around 20. Twenty-five. It gives it a little bit of a delay or reverb, and we can also enable the reverb actually, and just change the size. Enable the compressor. Change it to multiband, and change the threshold. Just a little bit of distortion there. Um, yeah, so now we got this sound. Another thing we can do is uh, change the voicing, change it to legato, and move the porta. Actually, change this to always. So now we have this transition between the notes, as you can hear. You don't want to go all the way, but around 100 is okay. Another thing we can do is actually change the cutoff a little bit less, uh, the envelope, so it doesn't go all the way up. and adjust these two faders to change the sound. One more thing we can do is add noise and go to miscellaneous and choose the metal tick and change it to one shot so this just repeats it once. So actually I changed it to Metal Tech 2 and uh, so yeah, change it to Metal Tech 2 instead and make sure it's on one shot and maybe change the pitch lower it a little bit. And yeah, I just lowered the cutoff again and at this point it's just adjusting the values so the sound you create fits your style or whatever you are going for. And now let's hear how they sound together. Actually one more thing, we can go to effects, enable the EQ and change it to high pass, which is this one. And change the Q, lower it so we don't have that peak. And that's this is just so we delete the sub bass frequencies of this sound because we have the sub bass already. So yeah, now enable both, and I actually have the sidechain on it, LFO tool. You can uh, use your own sidechain. That just so when it's in the song, every time the kick hits, uh, the volume of the sound gets lower. And this is how it sounds now. Yeah, so I think that's a pretty good result. If you want to change the sound, just adjust the values and it's going to completely change the whole sound. So 
So yeah, this is almost a different sound and still pretty good. You can also change the waveforms and that's gonna completely change the sound as well. So yeah, this might be even better than the actual sound we created. But yeah, this is the tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful and you learned something new. As I said, uh, at this point it's just adjusting the values and you can create a lot of different bases for your tracks. Just get the basics done and then change everything slightly and you get a new sound. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I see you in the next one. Goodbye.